David spent eight years serving his country in the Air Force. He's proud to be an American, owns 17 guns and likes a good steak. They all have one thing in common. They're part of a new wave of conservative white Americans who, like Yasmin, have abandoned their strict Christian upbringing for Islam. But is it really possible to be both a Texan and a Muslim? On the day of judgment, after all of the believers go to the paradise, there will be some that get to sit very close to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, at his river, al Qathar. And then there will be a group of them that are denied. And I want to be amongst the group that sits close to him. And those are the people uh, that follow the way he spent his life and the way that his companions uh, spent their life. And that's the way I want to live my life. Dallas, Texas. It's red, white, and blue America, the home state of George Bush, and proud of it. No mean green. <laughs> Unbelievably, right here in the heartland of the USA, Bible bashing conservatives are turning Muslim. <laughs> Eric is as Texan as they come. He was about to become a Baptist preacher when he converted to Islam. Reconciling Allah and America means white Muslims like Eric have to be resourceful. Even in the middle of the game, a man's got to pray when a man's got to pray. I need to find a place to pray that's out of the way. That's west, that's east. It's this way. Thanks to his Baptist upbringing, Eric has always taken his religion very seriously. But Christianity wasn't conservative enough. Eric liked Islam's approach to life. Since converting, Eric's never missed a call to prayer. Islam is everything I wanted Christianity to be. It's got such a, a magnetic attraction to it. It's a way of life that chooses to worship an unseen God through a process of daily living. Do you think you can be a Texan and a Muslim? Yeah. <laughs> I reckon you could. Uh, Texan Muslim. <laughs> that would be a funny combination, anyhow. <laughs> I'm very patriotic. I love this country. I was born American, raised American, die an American, but I'm a Muslim. Surprisingly, Islam is the fastest growing religion in the USA. Texas is home to some 400,000 Muslims. Eric's mother, Marianne, is a committed Baptist. She's never visited the mosque before. Eric's wife, Karen, also a convert, is on hand to show Marianne around. Can you say, Salaam Alaikum? <laughs> Since 9-11, mosques say they've seen more Americans convert to Islam than ever before. 9-11 was a tragedy. 9-11 should never have happened. Whoever did 9-11 should be sent to hell with the worst of punishments. And I, was, I want to make sure before I go any further how serious we take 9-11 because 9-11 has turned into a blessing to the Muslim community. What has happened because of 9-11 is that people have gone out to actually buy a Quran. They want to actually start to understand Muslims and try to figure out why this behavior, why is this happening. People are learning more about Islam every day because of 9-11. And I don't think they're going into it to become Muslim because they like what they saw. 
but I think they want to understand what's going on, and as they do, they start to see the beauty of Islam. Catherine converted after 9-11. In fact, she's only been a Muslim for two weeks. She had a privileged Texas upbringing, private schools and tennis lessons, and now works in PR. I mean, it's a big change, you know? It's a change, and it will come step by step, and uh, developing my spiritual um, ally will be the best it will, it will come when that will come. Caddo Mills is a one-horse town on Route 66. It's got one gas station, one grocery store, six churches, and one white Muslim, David. Islam emphasizes a lot of the same ideals that this country was actually founded on ideals of individual rights for all people, equality under the law. I would say that being Muslim has helped me to better appreciate the values on which the country was founded and I think to a certain extent the country has forgotten. At this point I couldn't actually even conceive of not being Muslim. I think uh, it would it's kind of like the idea of thinking about, you know, not breathing. There's a lot of pressure to not convert to Islam. But on the other hand, there's always been an undercurrent in American popular culture of supporting the underdog or, uh, you know, not going with the herd. There's plenty of people still in this country that are willing to say, well, I believe this is true and I'm going to go with that, you know, and if anybody doesn't like it, well, nuts to him. Like the other white converts, David actually thinks being Muslim makes him a better American. With his wife Najma and their two daughters, he's living his version of the American dream. But is it tough being the only Muslim family in town? Do people look at us? Yeah, they do. Um, it's so common now that I really hardly even notice it. Um, we actually get stared at by, on, on all sides. When we're in the larger non-Muslim society, uh, people stare at my wife or my daughter because they're wearing the hijab, and then they realize they're with that, hey, they're with that blonde white American guy. Well, what's up with that? So they, you know, they, after, then they're, instead of staring at them, they start staring at me, and then they start staring at all of us. Uh, and it kind of goes the other way in the Muslim community, you know, here's this blonde white guy and, you know, well, who's he? <gasps> He's with her. Well, what's going on there? So we kind of get uh, stared, for, stared at from all sides, but uh, most people are pretty polite about it. You know, they try not to stare. People out here, if anything, are uh, more tolerant than the people in the city. I think America could be a, a Muslim country. And I think it would be a very good one if it did. Do you think George Bush would ever convert? Oh, I, I rather doubt it. I think it would be great if he did. I think, it would be, I think the world would be a lot better off if he did. Maybe we would back off of some of these rather ill-advised uh, imperial adventures overseas. I think in a lot of ways that Islam could save Americans from themselves. Uh, whether it will happen or not, I think that the American society should not be afraid of what would happen to their country if Muslims were to become the majority in America. Because I believe that would benefit America in so many ways. Hey, hey, you guys come here. What's this green leaf? I'll drop man, sissy. Who made this leaf? You take it any time. Who created this, Nene? Allah. Allah made this? What about this one? Who made this one? Allah. Allah, mashallah. Allah created everything, didn't he?